Okay, so this is uh, homework problem 17.6. Uh, and the question is a question stem we've seen before. Evaluate the commutator. Now I've asked you a couple times uh, to consider what are some other ways this question could be asked. <coughs> okay, so evaluate the commutator and uh, what I typically do is I think to myself, I'm going to map this out so that I don't, uh, um, so that I don't so lose my way. A hat, B hat, the commutator is defined as A hat, B hat, minus B hat, A hat on an arbitrary function. Okay, that's the definition. So, I've got my, I've got my, my commutator up here, and I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to lay this out. This then is becomes x d d y on f. No, not on f yet. Sorry, that's just my first commutator. Sorry about that. Um, y d d x. How do you spell x? Like that. F minus y d d x x, d, dy on f, okay? So I'm going to work my way across here, and this function, by the way, for f is equal to a function of x and y, and I'm just going to leave the x and y off there to keep this thing clean. So d, f, d, x, I can't do anything with that because I don't know what, it's an arbitrary function, I don't know what it is, so this first one, I'm just going to go ahead and say my first one is, is simply that. But y dx df is also just that. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is say 1. Here, this is the first one I'm going to evaluate over on a separate piece of paper, right? Because that's just the multiplication of y times all that, right? So now d dy of that mass is going to be, it's the chain rule. Because I've got two functions of y here, right? I've got this function of y, which is just y, and then this function of y, which is f of x, y. Okay? Chain rule. So this is going to be d, uh, dy dy df dx plus, that was, if, that was if I take the derivative of the first one times the second function, now the derivative of the second function times the first one is y d dy d dx f. Okay, so that's it for the that's it for part for part one. Now it looks like part two, you know, it's just gonna be simply multiplying it by x. So two then oh wait, I'm not done with that. dy dy is just one. You know what? I'm gonna do this part in my head. I'm just going to say that's just 1. So it looks like it's the uh, 1 is df dx. I'm not coming off screen here, aren't I? Uh, df dx y d d y d d x f. Okay? Now, we multiply all that times x. So this ends up being x df dx plus x y d dx d d y of f. Okay, that's two. And that's the whole thing. So let's come over here and do this. Same thing over here. D D Y of F is just D D Y of F, because we don't know what F of X Y is. This is X times all of that, so let's leave that. Let's go ahead and do this three. This D D X of X D D Y F is with use the chain rule. This is d d x of f d d y. I'm sorry, of, of x d d y of f plus x times d d x d d y of f. All right. So this, of course, goes to one like it did over there. So this ends up being d d y and 
plus x dx ddy f. All right, that's what number three is. Now four, I'm going to say simply is multiplying y times that whole mess. So four is equal to y d f dy plus x y d d x d d y f. All right, so the commutators is is looks like it's Looks like the commutators, this mass minus this mass, so it's 2 minus 4. Here's 2, here's 4. Um, these two terms cross off. Right? They're the same thing. So it looks like it's going to be uh, the commutator is going to be x df dx minus y df dy. Actually, I've got the commutator, I've got the function in there. Really, what this is is x d dx minus y d dy. Okay, that's what the commutator is. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Please let me know if you want some clarification on that. Best wishes.